So here's a look at a small compact project. It's a digital SWR and power meter. So SWR on the left, power in watts on the right. It's in two halves. This, uh, this section here in its L-shaped bracket is designed to mount behind a perspex screen on the front panel of a transmitter and it just contains the displays and an Arduino Nano. It's coupled through this cable here into a directional coupler. So the coupler is, is fairly conventional, I think. Um, it's a Brune design, so it's directional in on the left. Um, just uh, RF power runs through that little bit of uh, coax there. I won't get too close to it because it's currently got 192 volts of RF on it, about 100 watts. Um, the toroid does the sampling. Um, there are some germanium diodes there, just like we would have done 50 years ago, and some decoupling, etc. And then the forward and reflected voltages um, are conveyed down this cable here and are read by the analog inputs on the Arduino. This is a 100 watt AM transmitter for 160 meters, but it doesn't have any SWR protection. If something bad happens, like a storm blows through and the antenna drops or comes adrift somewhere, or for any reason the SWR goes high, this transmitter is at risk. So that was the main motivation for building this SWR and power module. It's nice to have a digital display showing SWR and power, but I really wanted a device that would raise an interlock or a control line that could then be fed back into uh, a mechanism to reduce the power. So let's do a test on the power meter. We'll put some RF power through it at three different levels and uh, see how it measures up. And I can also demonstrate how I calibrated the meter. This rather messy chassis here is my 160 and 80 meter AM transmitter. Um, not yet put into a proper box, but it's all working. So that's the source of carrier power uh, up to about 100 watts. It's a class D transmitter and it's running from these two power supplies in series. So I can dial these up to 30 volts each to get a 60 volt HT into the transmitter. And what I find then is that the output of the transmitter varies accordingly. Okay, so let's try that. So we're transmitting on 1870 kilohertz and there's the carrier and I've got 25 volts on the class D output stage. So uh, the probe is times 10, so 8.8 .8 volts peak to peak is 88 volts. So let's set this up for 25 watts. So to do that, I just wind up the power. It's too far. I've gone up to 35 volts and I'm seeing 120 volts of RF power into the load. Let's, let's vary that down to as close as we can get to 100 volts. So that's pretty close there. So just, just a touch just a touch below 100 volts there and the power meter is reading 27 watts. So not perfect but fairly close. So now let's go to 50 watts. 50 watts is 140 volts. So winding up the power a bit too far. 140 volts. It's wavering around a little bit. That's fairly close. And the power meter is showing 53 watts. Okay, let's go to, let's see if we can get 100 watts. 
100 watts is 200 volts peak to peak into 50 ohms. So we're going to need both supplies close to their full 30 volts. Let's see what we're getting here on the scope. We're pretty close. 100 and it's varying between 192 and 196. I'll just go up another volt. 198 to 202, 200. So it's, it's hovering around 200 volts peak to peak there. So that's 100 watts into 50 ohms and the meter showing 100 and, uh, 109 or 108 watts. So it's a little bit generous, but close enough. So I'm looking here at the output scrolling window, the serial window from the Arduino Nano script. And what I'm tracing here are the, the absolute values being read back from the uh, forward and reflected um, A to D Nano input pins. So that's, that's the number coming back from analog read. Um, these are converted into millivolts. They're being zeroed there just to um, to keep things clean and then they're being converted via formulas into SWR and power. So if I transmit now, you'll see that, uh, that the, the numbers jump. Um, the power meter is reporting a power of about 108 to 109 watts and that's as a result of a raw forward value of 770 and a reflected value of 72. In millivolts we've got 3.35 volts and the reflected voltage is being zeroed in by the algorithm. So to calibrate this what I did was I generated power at three levels uh, 25, 50 and 100 watts. Then I went to a site here that does equation fitting and what it allows you to do, it allows you to put pairs in. So I put the millivolt pairs and the corresponding power levels for only three points. So what I was doing there is I was saying, here are three points and I was asking this calculator, the equation finder, to come back with an equation. And I got something that looks like this which is a horrible looking equation, but with a little bit of simplification, uh, I coded it and that's the line of code there. So that's the equation for the arbitrary graph or the arbitrary function that maps the results that I got back from my particular coupler into uh, an approximation of RF power. And so that holds pretty much from about 10 watts to about 120 watts. It's not perfect, but it's good enough. So to test this feature, I couldn't use a dummy load because a dummy load won't give you a high SWR. So I have to use a live antenna. And so my 160 meter inverted V is pretty much flat until you get right down to the bottom of the, the band, at which point the SWR rises up to 1.2. So I've artificially dropped the interlock threshold down to 1.2 to 1. So here we are running 100 or so watts at the top end of the band. So I'm now dropping the transmitter right back to, we'll go right to the bottom of the band, so 1.8 megahertz. And as soon as it detects an SWR of 1.2 or higher, it flashes the display. At the same time, it's raised a control line on one of the Arduino digital pins, and, um, and that'll be taken back to the regulator. So that'll be throttling back the HT to the transmitter, should the SWR hit that threshold. So there it is. It's good to be able to monitor power and SWR on a continuous basis. The schematic 
and the source code are available on my blog, that's VK3HN at wordpress.com. Thanks for watching.